understandable when the City of London holds a festival that the Thames should be the focal point for one of its most resounding events. The river reflects an explosive aerial canvas created by artist John Piper. He nearly did set the Thames on fire. Three thousand pounds worth of flash, bang, wallop. In the time you're watching these pictures, the night sky has blossomed with over 200 pounds worth. In spite of Londoners affection for their river, They've sadly neglected her in the past, but at long last they've decided to give the old man a wash and brush up. Operation Clean Up Father Thames to reduce pollution and make the river more pleasant to live and work beside. In spite of the inevitable flotsam and jetsam, the clean up has already paid off. Roach and carp have recently been caught in the heart of London. In the past, town dwellers have tended to neglect their rivers and canals, distrusting them as dirty and unhygienic. This new awareness of their amenity value could encourage a lot more people to live beside the water. The Thames will always be a natural link with our seagoing heritage. When Sir Francis Chichester came to Greenwich the other day, he followed the footsteps of Drake, the very first Englishman to sail round the world. Now, this 20th century Sir Francis was to inaugurate the first public showing of Gypsy Moth 4. This will be her permanent berth in a dry dock close to the Cutty Sack. Over the past 12 months, the achievement of Sir Francis has been magnificently emulated by that other great solo yachtsman, Alec Rose. This same morning at Buckingham Palace, Alec had received the accolade of knighthood from Her Majesty the Queen. We like to think of ourselves as a nation of seafarers, although we've been called a nation of shopkeepers too. Now these two national qualities are triumphantly combined by this greengrocer sailor from Southsea. Lively Lady is now on public view in London at Holborn Circus. Sir Alec and Lady Rose were there to welcome the first of many thousands of visitors who will be able to see his much-travelled yawl at close quarters. The Hull tells its own story of those 28,000 miles. Returning to the river, we spotted Richard Burton and Liz Taylor's magnificent luxury yacht, Costing around 80,000 pounds, they've spent about 100,000 refitting her. Of course, a river like the Thames plays many parts, not least in providing us with a playground. We went upriver to enjoy the scenery, a fashion show of some of the latest in swimsuits. Come on, pretty woman, give your love for free. Come on, pretty woman, you won't get no Many of the fabrics are made by man, but with woman in mind. Prices range from three to six pounds. Well, you girls, these are just some of the latest man traps for summer. It's up to you to make sure he can afford to keep up with your style. 
So live for love and give your love away. So live for love and give your love away. Champagne sets the style, but there's rain in the mayonnaise and more brollies than dollies at Henley Regatta, that most revered upriver sporting occasion. Still, if you belong to a nation of seafarers, you just can't let a drop of rain put you off. Apart from the weather and the absence of many foreign crews due to other events overseas, Henley is still able to preserve its fascination. And even in an age of rising prices, it still makes a big profit. Coxes wired for sound. Electronics to contrast with Edwardian Henley. Steady on, don't jump the gun. <laughs> Winning their heat in the Wifold Challenge Cup, the Thames tradesmen finished the distance 12 seconds faster than any other four of the day. In the Diamond Skulls, Cook of Leander beat Cleal rowing for the Westminster Bank. The Diamonds have been won by an overseas oarsman no less than 35 times. A Dutch rowing club, Nereus from Amsterdam, now facing St Mary's Hospital in an eight event. Although it's called the Ladies' Plate, it's rowed by men. The length of the Henley course, one mile, 550 yards, has always been the same since the regatta was founded nearly 130 years ago. Victory for the Dutchman by three lengths. But there's so much more to Henley than just the rowing. You know what I mean. 